All right, so this is circuit drawing. So it says number one is circuit number one series or parallel. So on number one, we only have one um, route that all of the circuit can take or all of the current can take. So it's going to be in a series. And then in number two, we have multiple paths for the current to take. So it's parallel. And it says, how do you know? So we talked about how in a series, it's just one path. And in a parallel, there are multiple paths. Number two, it says, how many pathways are there in circuit number one? So we talked about how there's one pathway because it's a series. Um, how many pathways are there in circuit number two? Okay, so we're going to go count them. So we've got, starting at the battery, there's one. There's two. And there's three. So there's three pathways for circuit number two to travel. On number four, it says, if a bulb A burns out, will bulb C still light? Explain your answer, why or why not? Okay, so if bulb A burns out, none of the rest of the circuit will be able to work because it will be considered an open circuit. So the answer is no. C will not light because it will be an open circuit. Five says if D burns out, will F still light? So we're on circuit number two. If D burns out, will F still light? So if D burns out, then E and F are still using the battery and their wires to still light because they're in a parallel. So the answer is yes. Light F will still light. Alright, use circuit notation to draw circuit number one below. So we've got our battery, which is connected to a wire, which is connected to a bulb, then wire, then bulb, then wire, bulb, closed switch, wire to battery. Make sure you have a closed switch because in your picture it's closed. All right, on the back it says use circuit notation to draw circuit number two below. So we're starting out with our battery. We're connecting it to a wire. Now that wire is on a circuit with a bulb and then a wire back to the battery. Now this bulb and battery is in parallel with two other light bulbs. So there is our circuit. And there is no switch, so we did not add a switch. On number eight, it says draw a series circuit with three light bulbs, an ammeter, a resistor, a switch, and two batteries. So we're on a series, which means we're just gonna have one circuit. So we're gonna start with our two batteries. So one, two, then we're just going to go down the line. So we've got three light bulbs. One, two, three. Make sure you always put a wire in between all of your light bulbs. Then we're going to connect an ammeter, a resistor, and a switch. And I'm just going to use an open switch. Okay. On number nine, it says draw a parallel circuit with two light bulbs, three switches, and a battery. Each light bulb should have its own switch, and there should be a switch to turn off the whole circuit. So we're going to start out with our battery. Now, it said that we're going to have two light bulbs in parallel. So we automatically can draw our two light bulbs in parallel. It says there's going to be a switch to turn off each bulb. So there's one switch, there's two switch, and then we're going to have one switch that can turn the whole circuit off. 
So whenever that happens, that means that switch is going to have to be close to your battery because that switch can turn the whole thing off. Number 10, it says draw a circuit with two light bulbs wired in parallel to each other and a third light bulb in series to the other two. Include a battery and a switch to draw the whole circuit. So we've got our battery and we talked about how a switch is going to turn off the whole circuit so we're going to put it next to our battery. So then we're going to have a bulb that's in series with two bulbs that are in parallel to each other. So you could draw it like that. I know that kind of looks kind of funky. You could also have it like this. So I would accept either one since you know that these are in parallel with one another and that's going to be in a series or that could be in a series. So I would prefer this one because it's simpler, but either one would be fine because I can tell that you've got your two in parallel and then you've got that one in a series and a switch turn off the whole thing. So I showed you this because I wanted you to understand that when I'm grading these, I'm looking to make sure that you've got all of your parts correct and that you understand the difference between a series circuit and a parallel circuit. If it looks kind of wonky, that's okay as long as you've got everything correct.